Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Oma here. Today we are making the delicious lazy man's chicken and rice one dish recipe. The recipe credit will be going to Food for the Soul, the social butterfly. Today I'm going to be recreating this dish and making it mine. And if you're interested in how I make this dish, let's get on with the cooking. Okay? Now, all of the ingredients I'm going to be using for this delicious rice recipe is in my description box below with all of these measurements. Do check it out. I'm using the Nigerian cap rice. This cap rice is not as soft as uh, your basmati rice or jasmine rice or whatever rice um, we usually buy in the market. This rice is a bit tough, so I had to wash it six times and then I soaked it in hot boiling water. Now, the boiling and the washing of the water helps me with a few things. It gets away dirt and starch from the rice. Then the boiling actually, and the boiling water it was soaked in helps me um, reduce the cooking process of just putting the raw rice in my oven so when you're done with that all you need to do is put your rice in a clean baking pan and then you just simply want to add all of the ingredients that you have available into the rice yes with no order in particular just you know pour everything into your rice now with all of the happenings this year around the world we have all gone into lockdown at one point or the other so basically this dish is me cooking from my pantry and loving it um, so I am just going to train all of the ingredients I have available and you know cooking from your pantry is not that bad we are not going to any market anytime soon I'm going to just add in my onion. I'm using blended onion because that's my way of eating onion. I love it. So if you like your onion diced or sliced, please by all means add sliced or diced onion at this point. And then when you're done with that, you just basically want to, you know, turn your rice, make sure you mix everything properly together. Now, when you're done, you add your seasoning cube if you didn't add at the start now if you don't have this liquid seasoning cube, just use your regular maggi or you can totally skip it if you don't like um, using any form of seasoning cube when you're done with that you just want to pour in your chicken stock or water whichever you have available so i'm using chicken stock about two cups of chicken stock and i'm just going to move my rice around and make sure the rice is covered now i'm pouring it i'm not pouring the entire stock all at once i'm pouring it and watching it to make sure it's not so much for the rice do you get so after pouring my um, chicken stock into my rice and then making sure my rice is evenly spread out i'm just going to add our chickens yes you know it's called chicken and rice dish right so i've seasoned my chicken for about four hours uh, preceding this dish just because i love a well flavor filled chicken so i'm just going to lay out my chickens out round very clearly and then i'm going to press it down a bit but i don't want it to be submerged totally inside the rice so after i press it down like this you can see how clean it is i add my butter i mean real butter not margarine then you just simply want to cover your pan with foil the first foil and then the second this helps to trap the steam so your rice can cook properly now i allowed my rice in the oven for 45 minutes then i brought it back out to check the rice like i said the Nigerian cup rice is a bit harder it does not get it does not get done fast so you need to check your rice to make sure it is okay but mine was not properly uh, done i had a bit of 
uh, strong rise here and there so i and i noticed i needed to add a little bit of seasoning into my rice so i added some salt i just basically turned some salt around now this dish gives you time to just chill with your friends trust me when this rice was in the oven all i did was set my timer to get and just chill now after adding the salt i just pour one cup of uh, chicken broth i have left chicken broth chicken stock whichever you love to call it i just added it and a bit of water that was about three tablespoons of water then i topped it with a bit of my um, seasoning then you just want to move your rice around to make sure the stock kind of gets around the entire rice you get it's evenly distributed then when i was done with that it's just to add my you know veggies and other things i want to add just to point out please if you're going to use a microwave to make this dish please don't forget don't use the foil you might need to look for an alternative make be a bowl that has a good lead that can uh, stay in your microwave please so we don't cause disaster but if this is for your oven then by all means cover with your foil it's good to go so I'm using today um, some green beans and some carrots. Like I said, I'm cooking from my pantry and my fridge, basically. So we are going to just move our veggies around. You know, you need to eat your veggies. They are good for you. And it just makes your dish very beautiful. Just, you know, to think that there is no much effort in this food and it looks so good. Trust me, when you present this food before your guest, just leave it you'll be looking like one iron chef you know when you bring it out oh my god the food angels will be singing glory <laughs> so basically i just turned my veggies you can see i wanted to make sure they are evenly distributed then i topped with some tomato slices it just adds more beauty you know they say we eat first with our eyes right so this just adds more beauty more flavor just looks really good you know so just do this and then we are good to go now i actually would advise that if you want your chickens to brown a bit after you put your um your pan back into the oven for about 15 minutes please be checking it because our ovens might be different just make sure you take off the foil to allow the top brown like this just look at that gorgeous it's so beautiful i hope you have learned how to make this delicious food now go into your kitchen and make yours what do you have in your pantry tag me to your videos and pictures don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and share our videos i'll see you in our next recipe bye